appearing via video link into a Montgomery County District Courtroom, multi-murder suspect Ilalio Tortle was ordered held without bond for his alleged random shooting spree Friday that left four shot and two dead at two shopping centers. Montgomery County State's Attorney John McCarthy provided an update on one of the surviving victims. The other individual um, was in very serious condition, if not critical condition on Friday, I'm told has, his condition has improved. And as a matter of fact, he is in surgery today, removing one of the bullets. Tortle, who is 62, is also charged with killing his estranged wife Thursday in Prince George's County. In court today, McCarthy revealed that in Las Vegas back in 2014, Tortle legally purchased the 40 caliber Glock he used. His wife filed a protective order against him in March. We try to remove those weapons from the possession of people under the protective orders. That did not occur here. Maryland protective orders require all firearms be seized. In the order, Tortle's wife had a vague list of her husband's firearms, quote, revolvers, caliber 40, M4, caliber 45, etc. Today's bond hearing also revealed Tortle was hanging out near the Silver Spring Giant where he allegedly killed his last victim. He stuck around because of what authorities say happened during a struggle with that victim. He lost his glasses. I, I think that he did not feel that because his glasses had been lost in the struggle, he didn't feel that he could adequately see to drive. That shopping center was where officers spotted his rental car and eventually captured him after watching him for an hour. Authorities say Tortle's motive in the shopping center shootings was carjacking. He was trying to switch out vehicles, but he stayed in the car he rented out before his wife's shooting on Thursday. And back to the surrendering of guns under a protective order. The state attorney says part of Maryland law relies on the gun owner telling the truth about how many guns they have to surrender. We're live in Montgomery County. George Lettuce, WBAL, TV 11 News.